my sincere greeting to all of you and genuine apologies for not being able to join you for the live session this morning due to some internet issues and technical difficulties. Yesterday we heard that if we want to give up our lower base habits and our negative attachments, we have to hang on to something that is higher than ourselves. That something higher is the cultivation of our positive habits, a very meaningful sense of purpose and a very deep spiritual connection. All of these give us a sense of inner fulfillment which thus empowers us to tackle and deal with our habits and attachments. Here's our reflection for today. I remember when I was a university student, one day I was at home preparing for exams. My mother had made amazing lunch. I left my studies to take lunch and ate to my heart's satisfaction, practically up to my neck, full up to my neck. And then I went back to my studies, trying to focus. The subject being interesting, I was trying to grasp the content that I was reading. Only until my attention was diverted by a jar that was sitting on a shelf very close to where I was studying. The contents of the jar were very interesting. There were four cream rolls in there. I hope you know what a cream roll is. Uh, it is a puff pastry cone stuffed with whipped cream and jam. In the UK they call it a cream horn, in the USA a lady lock, in some parts of Europe like Austria they call it a sham roll. But like it is said, a rose by any name would smell as sweet and a cream roll by any name would probably taste as sweet and as great. So as I saw the cream rolls in that jar, my mind was yelling and crying to go and get one. Mind you, I was already full with lunch. I tried to justify that I just had lunch and I'm full. I need to focus on my studies and I can always eat it later. But the mind just created a ruckus. And finally I gave in. I went to the jar, picked up one of the cream rolls, had it, it was amazing, and came back to study. Guess what? I couldn't focus. My tongue in collaboration with the mind wanted a second. I tried not to get up, but ended up going to the jar, taking a second one, and then a third one, and a fourth one. And I finished all the four cream rolls in that jar that afternoon. And this is after a full lunch. I realized that the mind is exactly like a child. Haven't we seen a child who wants something, starts crying, starts creating a ruckus, starts creating a scene because it wants it? And I don't even think there's anything wrong giving the child what it wants if what he or she wants is harmless. The problem is not that we don't want to give it to the child. The problem is that if we give it to the child at the child's terms, the child becomes stubborn, obstinate, demanding, feels entitled and gets pampered. So if it's a harmless thing, there's no problem giving it to the child. But we should give it to the child at our terms. If the child is focused, being obedient, studying properly, then we give it to the child as a reward if the thing is harmless. The mind is exactly like the child, creates a ruckus, demands what it wants. And if we give it to the mind at its terms, the mind becomes stubborn, obstinate, pampered, cannot listen to a no for an answer, distracts us from what we are doing and the nature of the mind then becomes to be, I want what I want, when I want, how I want, where I want and it doesn't matter if I have to keep something else aside to get what I want. Now, this was the problem that happened that afternoon. A cream roll is after all a harmless thing. I, don't, I didn't have any high sugar then, it was no, not obese, no health issues, so eating one cream roll is not a big deal after all. It wasn't the cream roll. It was giving into the mind and making it stubborn, obstinate and pampered. 
ladies and gentlemen it's not just about the harmless things is it many times it's the harmful things as well the mind cries and yells for those harmful things and that's what we are talking about in our 21 days habit challenge our bad habits isn't it the mind just wants to go towards those things and indulge in those things that are harmful and the mind wants it right then distracts us from what is important and makes us go and do what's harmful and self destructive haven't we felt this in our lives that we want to you know uh, say something immediately we don't like somebody we don't like that something's happening and we want to right away say it. the mind is saying say it now we feel anger and frustration in our heads and we, the mind is yelling you yell at the person right now and it's destructive for ourselves and for our relationships both this is why a very important crucial element is to not to pamper the child good parenting is about not pampering the child good parenting is not giving anything harmful to the child would you give anything harmful to your child no then why are we giving anything harmful to our minds and if it's something harmless even that we give to the child at our terms not at the child's term making it obstinate and stubborn Similarly if we have to reward our mind with something that's harmless a cream roll in my example we would do it at our terms not at the mind's term we don't want to become slaves to our minds we want to make the mind our slave and keep it under our control how do we deal with it i many times say we don't even have to say a no to our mind we probably just need to say a wait to our mind i'm not saying no just do it later i'm not saying no to a cream roll it's harmless let's finish our studies and eat it later what i'm doing in the course of doing this is i'm training my mind not to be pampered i'm training my mind that things are not going to essentially go by your terms things are going to go by my terms you can't enslave me i'll try to enslave you and keep you or shall i say not enslave i'll try to keep you under my control and therefore i think we don't have to say a no to the mind and if it's something harmful again don't say a no right away just learn to say a oh, wait not to say that we'll give the mind what it's harmful but we'll postpone what is wrong ladies and gentlemen in dealing with the mind learn how to postpone what is wrong and prioritize what is right focus right now and prioritize on what is right and postpone what is wrong when it comes to doing right i remember this very popular doha by kabir ji he said kal kare so aaj kar aaj kare so abhi pal mein parlay ho jayega bahuri karega kabhi what you have to do tomorrow do it today and what you have to do today do it now because we never know what will come out to be later so when it comes to doing right this is what we should follow and when it comes to doing wrong we should follow the other side of this doha aaj kare so kal kar kal kare so parso abhi itni jaldi kya hai jab pade hai barso if you want to do it today do it tomorrow and we have to do it tomorrow postpone it to the day after tomorrow after all we have a long life ahead what's the hurry in doing that wrong thing so when it comes to doing the right prepone it prioritize it do it now when it comes to do the wrong postpone it to tomorrow to day after tomorrow keep postponing the wrong to such an extent that the mind will be fed up and will say i don't want to do this wrong any longer and therefore the reflection that i want to leave all of you with today is try to prioritize the right and do it now and try to postpone the wrong and keep saying a wait to your mind don't say a no we'll do it just wait tomorrow tomorrow to such an extent that one day the mind will say enough of this tomorrows i don't want to do this any longer Thank you all very much and looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you. Hare Krishna.